I have been on the hunt for the perfect white t-shirt in so long. And if that's you too, probably why you clicked on this video, I'm going to be investigating eight different t-shirts and we're going to be putting them to the test for a few different things. Fit, price, feel, sustainability. So let's get to it. My name is Amanda Weldon. Be sure to subscribe. would love to have you part of the fam, but let's get to this video. The first one that we are going to investigate is a Canadian brand. If you've heard of Allegra Shaw before, you probably have if you're frequenting style YouTube here. She is the founder of Uncle Studios, and this was my first impression of the t-shirt. Okay, so these are my initial reactions. Nice and thin, not see-through. I am wearing a beige bra though, so I will do a test later. Honestly, the length is really nice. It's not too long, but it's long enough that you can tuck it in and it will stay tucked in. That's always so annoying when you have a t-shirt you want to tuck in and then you move and it just kind of comes untucked. I think as well, it honestly has this really nice kind of a bit more cap sleeved, but not too cap sleeved, but not like down your arm. I know there's different styles that people like, but uh, the threading very minimal and it's super soft. Nothing about this t-shirt is itchy. So that is my first impression. I like this one. The soft feel of this t-shirt comes from the components that make it. Micro Model and Supma Cotton. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. A 50-50 blend. And as well, this t-shirt is made in Canada. Something that I was definitely impressed with on their website was reading more about their eco-conscious materials and their ethical labor. You can definitely see more about their sustainability practices there. Um, if you go into their education sector, which I have linked down below, you can read a little bit more, especially about the specifics of the those two fabrics. So moving forward, this is a lightweight t-shirt. So my worry was it was going to be a little bit see-through and it proved to pass the test. The thing I loved about it so much was the feel and as well where it hit me on my body. And it being lightweight is nice. It won't pill, it won't lose its shape. And as well, this will be so perfect during the warmer months. It hit the bank account though, $48 US. They also talk about why it is that way on the website. And I ended up ranking this one, one of the highest at 23 out of 25. Next up, we have Madewell. So this Madewell t-shirt, when I tried this one after the Uncle Studios one, I thought, hey, it's actually pretty similar, but here is how it is different. Okay, so first impressions of this t-shirt, again, very light, doesn't feel thick at all, easy to move. It's a little bit off-white. It's not that perfect, perfect white. So I like the way that the collar is a little bit thicker. And yeah, this one's pretty, pretty simple. This t-shirt is 100% cotton made in Guatemala. And I found it different from the Uncle Studios one because I didn't find it as soft and when I started doing a little bit more investigation on a website called Good On You, which I definitely recommend you guys check out, I'll link that down below as well. I looked up every single company we're going to investigate but some weren't found on it. However, for Madewell, unfortunately their ranking was not so good. They scored 11 to 20% on the fashion transparency index. And that's when they look into information like the source of their materials, where they're made, the people, the planet, the animals, all things that are incorporated in that. But though that they ranked pretty low on that one, they actually do have a ton of sustainability practices when it comes to uh, their denim. So maybe you've heard of Madewell because of their denim. Now, Madewell is a branch of J. Crew, and to be honest, this t-shirt was pretty basic. If you were just looking for a standard white t-shirt, it was pretty good. The size range as well was pretty inclusive and that was ranging from a double extra small to a double extra large. And their pricing was pretty inclusive as well, around $21 Canadian. Sadly, the shipping was half the cost of the t-shirt as well. So it actually ended up coming to $31. Overall, I don't know why, I just wasn't as impressed with this one. And I took off some points just because I wasn't sure how sustainable this branch of the company was just because of that transparency index and then as well the durability. Next up, this is this is one I'm so excited to tell you about and this is one a lot of you voted on Instagram for me to check out. Oh, this is such a nice t-shirt. Damn. Okay, first impressions of this one. Oh my God, this is a thick, t-shirt but it is beautiful this is the kind of t-shirt that i picture like with dress pants and a really nice layered jewelry moment it is so nice i actually love where this sleeve hits my arm and the thick layer as well it's kind of got that, that like thick stitch i feel like you could do 
If you're someone who likes to spice it up a little bit, you could do the one, two roll so you hide that seam. Ooh, I love this one. I could see myself getting this in another color. I think that's how you know when you wanna get multiples. 100% cotton and made in Vietnam. This t-shirt, when I put it on, I just kind of knew, <laughs> you know that feeling? I'm actually wearing it right now because I was so impressed and it was definitely one of my favorites. The way that it hits me on my body as well as the length of the sleeves, I definitely, definitely liked. And just the thickness, it made it feel a little bit more upscale, like I could match this with a really nice pair of trousers and then stack some jewelry and I would be all set to go and feeling really chic. When it comes to sustainability on Good On You, they still ranked it's a start. So that's still kind of mid-range. When you go to their website though, they do have so much more information about their sustainability practices and it really seems like they are trying to continue to push this forward. It was designed in Paris and basically called the ultimate basic t-shirt. And I could totally get behind that, whether it comes to the design or kind of the thickness and durability and versatility of this t-shirt. I'm all for it. Double extra small to double extra large is their size range. And this one will come in costing you around $30 plus tax. It got to my door pretty quickly and I was impressed with everything about it. I ended up ranking this one 24 out of 25, four out of five for sustainability because there's still some work to be done. Province of Canada, made in Canada, Canadian born, but. Clearly this isn't the one guys. This is a beautiful t-shirt. It's super well made. It's made in Canada. It's 100% cotton. It's really nice. And I think the reason why I ordered all of these t-shirts in small, and this is a unisex t-shirt, so it's uh, just on the larger side. And these sleeves come down so much lower. I think that this one's going to Scotty, but if you guys like the, um, the longer sleeves, this might be the one for you. Okay, so this is such a tough one. Made in Canada, 100% cotton. This was honestly a beautiful t-shirt, but because it was unisex, they were saying on the website, if you are a woman, you probably want to size down. I ordered all of these t-shirts, all eight in a small so that you could see the range of them. There's definitely some work to be done when it comes to their transparency about sustainability specifically, but on their website, they do say, there's a reason you feel reassured when you find a t-shirt that reads made in Canada on the label. Too many local manufacturing is synonymous with quality and equality, which is why made in Canada is the main pillar of our company. Now, because the size wasn't for me, I I had to bring in Scotty. We are pretty similar in size and I thought that this would be way better suited for him and this is what he had to say. Yeah, it fits you really well. It's the province of Canada tea. The province, province of Ontario. Province of Canada. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, it fits well. I think um, all in all, because this is a unisex t-shirt, I honestly think it fits you better than it fits me. Yeah. Yeah. Did they have an extra small? I think so, yeah. It's a really nice t-shirt though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the material is amazing. It feels really, really soft. When he asked me if there was an extra small, I wasn't 100% sure. So looking into the size range, there's actually extra, extra small to extra, extra large, which means a very inclusive size range. And then when it comes to their pricing as well, this was a little bit pricier of a t-shirt at $38 but I did end up getting 10% off because of a welcome deal. Overall, I ranked this one 19 out of 25, but I think if I had gotten the right size, it would have been up a little bit higher. So this is the only one that I say, take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> have you ever heard of the brand Cotton? This is a really cool brand, guys, and I'm excited to tell you about it. This was their packaging, and then they as well sent along this little tote. It was the only company to do this in the full gamut of things. This one's really thick. You can tell it's really well made. The stitching is beautiful, but it's a bit off-white. So if you're looking for like a crisp, crisp white, this one is a little bit off-white and it has a very different collar than the other ones. It kind of has like a ribbed collar, but it's nice and thick. And I think the shoulders might be just too wide for me, but this is a really beautiful one and the sleeves come down a little bit longer. No cap sleeve here. So after my first impressions, this had a different kind of stiffness to it. 100% cotton, Egyptian cotton, and made in Egypt. And this t-shirt I thought was really cool. It's really hard to tell on camera, but it is a bit of an off-white. And the sustainability practices of this company are very impressive. And they also have a lot on their website when it comes to education about their farms and sourcing of their products. So definitely check that out. For their t-shirt though, the fit, 
is actually a little bit boxier. It's a vintage inspired t-shirt and it's a band tee. And around the neck, it had a really cool ribbing detail that was so different than any of the other t-shirts. It's gonna run you around $38. And the size range as well was inclusive with that double extra small to double extra large. This one actually ranked quite high, 22 out of 25. It just wasn't the fit that I specifically was looking for. Okay, so let's do Aritzia as a whole because there's three t-shirts that I sourced from Aritzia. Their sustainability practices still have work to be done. On Good On You, they definitely talk about that. And on their website, I actually never knew this. I've been on the Aritzia website so many times, but I've never reached out to their sustainability side of things and it was really cool learning more. So I put that link down below so you can check it out too. The first brand we're gonna look into is Babaton. So this is the only one of the white t-shirts that I've actually had for a while, and it's the Babaton Everyday Shirt. You can tell it's a lot shorter than the other ones, and it's a bit like slinkier in feel versus that stiff 100% cotton. I've really enjoyed having it. I lay it flat to dry, and it's kind of that perfect layering underneath a sweater or something like that. But if you were someone who likes a longer t-shirt because you want to tuck it in, and when you raise your hands, you don't want it to come up, this might not be the one for you. But all in all, it's super soft and it's a pretty basic go-to tee. This t-shirt is 94% rayon and 6% elastane and made in China. Funny enough about this t-shirt specifically, this is the only one that I actually already owned before this video. And this ended up being one of my least favorite t-shirts. I don't know why, I think I'm just, when it comes to a white t-shirt, I really want that structure because I think that a white t-shirt, when it's crisp and a little bit more structured, it can look so sleek. However, because of this more like elastane-y feel, there was a bit more of a see-through quality to it. The one thing I did love that I could use this as is a workout t-shirt because it is nice and stretchy or for hiking, I think it would be great. It'll run you $30, not too bad, middle of the road. And the size range is from double extra small to extra large. I ended up ranking this one 17 out of 25, taking points off for some sustainability, fabric opacity and fit as a whole for me personally. Next up is Wilfred and these were my first impressions. This is the only fully ribbed t-shirt and you can tell it's a lot tighter than the other ones, a totally different style, has more of a cap sleeve and finishes right at the top of a high-waisted jean. This is definitely just like for a totally different situation and I would consider this more a casual white t-shirt versus some of the other maybe even more oversized ones that you could dress up with some jewelry. So. I like this one, but it really all depends on what you're looking for. 91% modal and 9% elastane. I think my first impressions were pretty, were pretty accurate with this one. This t-shirt just looks so casual and it is much tighter. Again, I think I would consider this one more as a workout t-shirt. It has a shrunken fit, a crew neck, it's ribbed. It reminds me of a high school girl's t-shirt. It just kind of, I don't know what it is about it. It just comes off a lot more casual than the other ones did and a little bit more young looking. But that totally makes sense for Aritzia and the range of people that shop there. I still really loved this t-shirt. I think there's just a time and a place for it. And what I was looking for was my everyday t-shirt that I would pick out for Zoom calls and, and just running around. Whereas this one wouldn't be the one that I would grab for. It was honestly so soft though. And I would definitely take this one on a vacation. Double extra small to double XL was the range. And surprisingly, this seemed like the tiniest t-shirt, but it ended up being the most expensive one from Aritzia. It came in at $40. Total was $45.20 Canadian. Taking some points off for fabric opacity as well as the fit and maybe a bit of sustainability, I ranked this one 16 out of 25. Last but not least, we have Sunday Best again from Aritzia. As for the Sunday Best t-shirt, this is a lot thicker than the other two from Aritzia. I would say this kind of also rivals the earlier t-shirts that were just that thick, opaque, you're not gonna see your bra through it at all. I think that if you're wearing a white bra as well, you won't see it. And it's obviously as well a lot tighter and finishes at the top of your high-waisted jeans. I think that's more of the style of Aritzia, kind of the clientele that they're looking for as well. And this is a beautiful t-shirt. It's very soft. It feels just like good. It just feels like 
I don't know, it would be a really nice go-to. And it also all depends on whether you want that tighter feel. So I do really, really like this one. The only thing that I wish that I could do is I wish it was a little bit longer so that I could get that tucked in effect. But other than that, just I could see this as a really great like travel tee. The total makeup of this one, 57% cotton, 38% polyester, 5% elastane, and made in China. If we're talking about t-shirts that surprised me the most out of this whole test, it was this one. I actually love this t-shirt. The only thing that makes it different from the Uniqlo one, because it definitely was thicker, was it was much more slim fit, and it also hit me much higher on my hip. So it matched the top of my jeans, kind of like I said earlier. It definitely passed the opacity test, and the size range was double extra small to XL. I would recommend this t-shirt to you if you are going to find one in Aritzia. I think that this one might be the one, and surprisingly as well, it was the cheapest one out of the three. $25, and the total price was $28.25. For the total score, I ended up giving it five out of five for fit. I really liked it, 22 out of 25 total. And I think that it really all depends on what you're looking for. But personally, for my style and what I'm looking for, my top picks were Uniqlo, Uncle Studios, Cotton, and Sunday Best tied for third. Specifically, what kind of stood out to me about the Uniqlo one and the Uncle Studios one that kind of ranks them equal in a way, but I put the Uniqlo one a little bit higher because of the thickness. And I just love the way that it looks. I think that pairing that with a nice pair of trousers and as well some stacked necklaces like I said earlier in the video would come off so beautifully and I definitely want to invest in the black t-shirt from them as well. The Uncle Studios one I loved so much too and it was really hard to choose which one I would put first. The only thing I found a little bit different about that t-shirt was that it definitely was thinner. I think that if I was doing this investigation in the summer, I would have maybe ranked that one first because of that thinner, maybe more lightweight feel, it would be a bit more comfortable in those hot months. So all depending on where you live and where you plan on wearing your white t-shirts, those are the two that I would highly recommend that you investigate further for yourself. Let me know in the comments below if you like this style of video, it allowed me to flex my journalism muscle, which was so fun also just kind of diving into the sustainability practices of all these t-shirts was so fun and I hope that you guys enjoyed that as well. Of course, I'm not perfect. I'm just going off of their websites as well as what I could find hopefully on Good On You, which is another thing I would suggest that you check out if you are looking into new brands. Subscribe, become part of the fam. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys found your perfect white t-shirt. I know I did. Bye.